drink here. Oh, we bless you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We give you all the glory. We serve the God that is seated above the wind creatures. He is mighty in battle. Our Lord and our King and our Savior, Jesus. He is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of our praise tonight. Bless your name, King of Glory, and our sin. Now, good morning, and thank you, sir. Do Kesibia, we walk Thank you, 
you for the cross. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for the cross. And thank you for the blood. Thank you for the blood. Thank you for the blood on Calvary's tree. Oh, we are redeemed. We are redeemed. Oh. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Welcome to the program. This is DJKB Top 100 UK today. This program is called In His Presence, and we have um, Reverend Jacob Van der Beek with us, um, the leader of the Wailing Intercessors Network in the UK. Um, today is Monday, so as usual, we have a meeting with the Honorable Reverend Van der Poyk <laughs> to give us the word of God and also to pray with us. So without wasting much time, let me bring Reverend Van der Poy on and we will start. Happy Easter, Reverend Van der Poy. How are you, the family, the network, ministry and everything? We are blessed of the Lord. Thank you, DJ KB. Happy Amen. resurrection. The Lord happy, happy, happy resurrection. Happy Amen. Easter. Um, I hope Amen. they mean the same. Do they? That's, that's it. That's it. Okay. All right. So, on Resurrection Day, what does the Lord want to tell us? Yes, Thank sir. you, sir. Yes, sir. DJ KB, I'm so thrilled. I'm so honored. Top Online Radio, thank you for having us uh, week by week. Amen. Happy Easter to all. Amen. As we commemorate the death, the burial, mm. the resurrection, and the ascension. All praise be to God. Dearly mm. beloved, you are welcome on this program. And I want to encourage you. Invite somebody through Facebook, through uh, YouTube, and all the channels, the top online radio channel, for, for us to Zoom into the presence of God. God richly, mm -hmm. richly bless you, taking time off your busy schedules and to be with us. You are blessed. Mm -hmm. You are highly favored. And the devil cannot do anything about it. Uh, mm -hmm. your, your victory has been won. Cast was Jesus on the cross, but he, he, he shed the bread. The blood, the blood of Jesus that speaketh better than that of Abel. And tonight, may you be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Amen. I want you to wave a victory wave unto God. Because he, he has shed the blood. He is the only person who died and by the promise and by the prophecy of God, he rose the third day. And the, the woman, Mary Madeline, and the other Mary, on the third day, the Sunday, he was crucified on Friday. Somebody's death, they say, Good Friday. And if the devil or Satan has known that by accusing him, by uh, arresting him, by killing him, the victory would, would have been won. He wouldn't have done it, but it was too late. The price has been paid. And you and I, we have every cause to rejoice in the name of Jesus. Amen. Tonight, let's enter the gates of God with thanksgiving. Tonight, let's ascribe the glory and the honor unto the wonderful name of our Father. Give praise and honor unto God. Oh, by his stripes we were healed. Amen. He, 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 he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our, our peace was laid upon him. And by his scribes, you are healed. That, may there be healing in your home. Amen. May there be healing in every situation of your life. 
Let's lift everyone before the throne of God's grace. Let's pray that Amen. the chills and the, and the darkness in our eyes, there is light in the tunnel of God. Somebody make mention of the name of Jesus and say, Amen. Christ me is the hope of glory. I am more than a conqueror. I want you Amen. to declare that you are more than a conqueror. I want you I'm to wave the victory wave unto God. Uh, All uh, sin and fall short of the glory of God. But Christ came that you and I will have a life and have it more abundantly. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God, the gift is Christ Jesus. But while we were yet sinners, God demonstrated his love. The love demonstration was what we have celebrated over the weekend and tonight 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 we're going to go into the word of god the bible the bible said on the cross jesus made some affirmations jesus made some declarations so uh, without much wasting time we will read uh, one or two scriptures and establish uh, the the, I call it the sermon of Jesus on the cross. Mostly they call it the seven words of Jesus on the cross. Even an ordinary person, they say when they are about dying, their words are to be cherished. What about our Lord and our uh, uh, Father, the, uh, the uh, Savior of humanity? He spoke these words that you will take it and you will take the baton in Jesus' mighty name. We have Matthew uh, 28 and the verses demonstrating in the morning Mary Madeline and uh, the other Mary when rushed to the tomb. And at the tomb, they met the guards. But there was this angel who said, are you looking for Christ who was crucified? He is alive. He's raising. He's not there. The price has been paid. He's not there. He's not there. Come and see. Come and see where they lay him. The tomb is empty. Go to the tomb of Mohammed. Go to the tomb of Hare Krishna. Go to the tomb of uh, every prophet you can imagine. Of. Their bones is rotting in the tomb. But our master the Redeemer, the fortress, the King of Kings, his bones, his body resurrected. And he ascended onto the throne of God, the Father. Mm -hmm. And at the moment, he is seated at the right hand of God, the Father, and he forever maketh intercession for you. Tonight, mm -hmm. you are victorious. Tonight, mm -hmm. you are champion. Tonight, your, your, your deliberations, your prayer that you will send to God, the answers are coming in Jesus' mighty name. We read uh, Matthew 28, and then we will go to Isaiah uh, 53. Matthew 28, verse 6. Matthew 28, verse 6. He is not here. For he is risen, as he said, Come, see the place where the, where the Lord lay. Amen. Amen. It's not in the grave. My master is not in the grave. Amen. There was evidence that there was a proof that God, when the angels spoke, they became afraid. But do not fear. Your master, he took away your, uh, your, uh, your, uh, your sins. And it was nailed to the cross. And it was buried in the tomb. Mm -hmm. And he rose with your victory. Dearly beloved, families that are hearing me, as you represent your family, know that the victory has been won. That that uh, is a done deal. It's a done deal. 
It's a done deal. It's a done deal. Tonight I see somebody receiving your liberty. Tonight I see somebody, your burdens have been rolled away. Tonight mm-hmm. I see somebody, the power of God is being demonstrated in you. You who are sick and uh, the physicians, they've diagnosed, they've prognosed, and they they have given you all medication and it looks like you are uh, are not receiving your healing. By the scribes of Jesus Christ, 2,000 years back, you you were healed. So claim your healing tonight. I claim my healing tonight. I claim my prosperity tonight. I know because he lived, I can face tomorrow. God richly bless you. God deposit his power and his anointing in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We will read one more scripture. Isaiah 53 and the verse five isaiah 53 verse 5 isaiah 53 verse 5 i read but he was wounded for our transgressions he was breathed for our iniquities the chastisement for our peace was upon him and by his stripes we are healed Amen. Amen. Right now, receive the touch of God. Amen. Your sins are forgiven. My sins are forgiven. It was 2,000 years back. You were not born, but he paid the price. The price, the penalty for your sin was paid. He was wounded. All the wounds of Jesus Christ was to pay for your transgression. It was bruised for your iniquity. Therefore, tonight, I see iniquity bowing. Therefore, tonight, I see the power of God being demonstrated in the situation that you are facing. Child of God, you may be going through turbulence. You may be facing awkward situations. But by the scribes of Jesus Christ, receive the touch of God. By the stripe of Jesus Christ, you are vindicated tonight. Amen. Christ indeed is your advocate. Christ indeed, he did the finished work for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As I speak, I see somebody uh, cast out unbelief and receive the word. That word is for you. My brother, my sister, that word is for you. That word to heal you is for you. Your healing may, your, your, uh, uh, your symptoms may not be physical ailment. But it could be emotional. The Lord says, I will set you free from every entanglement of the enemy in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's move to the uh, all the the betrayal, the, the, the arrest, the ridiculing, and now he's on the cross. Let's see him on the cross. And on the cross, he was there with two thieves, one on the left, one on the right. And he made a public show of the enemy. He made a public show of death. And Jesus, he said seven weightier things. And if every Christian, every person will live by that, we will live a a victorious life. The the hand of the enemy shall not prevail against you. Mm -hmm. Let's let's read. I will read some and maybe at times uh, DJ will read some. Uh, Luke 23 and the verse... 34, I think. Luke 
Then Jesus said, Then said Jesus, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Oh, he has been taken to the cross. They've spied on his face. They flashed him. They've made him carry the cross. All the worst things you can think of, they have done it for him. But he, 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 he had compassion in him. Yet he said, then he said, forgive them, for they, they know not what they do. And they parted his raiment and cast lots. So Jesus came. He took our sins. He paid a penalty. And if you will live a victorious life, forgiveness, forgiveness. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Easter is about forgiveness. That's why in the model prayer, he told us when we stand praying, we should forgive them that trespass against us. Because if you do not forgive those who trespass against you, your Father in heaven will not hear you. And if you have offended somebody in a way, you need to pray and ask God to forgive uh, uh, to forgive you and uh, ask God to touch the heart of the person as well to forgive you so that your prayer will be answered. Father, tonight we pray that every baggage of unforgiveness, every bitterness, hatred in our heart, Jesus, when he was taking our penalty, Jesus, when he was paying the price, he said, forgive them, for they don't know what they are doing. Oh, somebody slap you, and you are saying, God, forgive them. And he, the same Jesus, said, when somebody slap you, turn the other way for him to be, uh, uh, for, uh, for him to slap the other part. You should forgive 70 times 70. Oh, so forgiveness is the core of Christianity. If you cannot forgive, your yes. Christianity is in vain. Mm. Your Christianity will be in shambles. Yes. You will become like a dinosaur. Nothing mm. you do will prosper. And when you pray, it will be like a, a ball that is thrown to the wall. It comes back to you. So tonight, Father, we pray that families will be forgiven. Amen. That individuals will be forgiven. Amen. That we will learn to forgive our brothers and our sisters. Amen. Hallelujah. So Amen. forgiveness. Forgiveness play a major role in the Christianity. Oh, find a place in your heart to forgive your accuser or your uh, perpetrator. Find a place in your heart the, to forgive the person who has offended you. And so long as we live in this world, offend must come. But yes, yes, Yet again, uh, uh, woe unto the person who offense come true. But if you do not forgive, you will be the person suffering. Easter typifies forgiveness. It's not about going to church. It's not about wearing white. It's not part of it. But have you giving room in your heart? Have you set your heart? I talk to myself as I'm preaching. Am I, am I setting my heart? Have I deep, 
dig deep into my heart to forgive somebody. My Lord, my Lord, forgive them. And Amen. I will, I, because of time, we are reading selected portions. And in the same uh, 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 Luke 23, the verse 43, he talks about salvation. And Jesus said unto him, he said unto the penitent thief, the one who was crucified, who was by his left, his name was Jesus. Jesus was the, uh, we, they term him the bad thief. Because he brought questions and he said, oh, if you be the, the, the child of God, or if you be the king as you claim to be, free yourself and free us. But hear what Jesus said. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today shall thy be with me in paradise. He wasn't saying it to the penitent thief, the unrepented thief. He was challenging Jesus. But the other thief who was on the right hand of God the Father, he turned and said, Ah, but the other thief, verse 40, but the other thief answering rebook him. He rebook him. He said, even though he is crucified with us, he's not a thief like we are. And he rebuked him, saying, that's not that's not you fear God. Don't you fear God? Reverence God. Go before God for your salvation. Seeing that, seeing that at in the same condemnation. And we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward of our deeds. But this man has done nothing amiss. He has done nothing amiss. The, the penitent uh, uh, thief, he was putting himself and he was equating his evil to that of Jesus. But he who knew no sin, he who went to the cross for the sins of humanity, Nothing was found in him, but they cook it because they did not know what they were doing. God has prophesied already. It has been written that he would die for our sins. Hallelujah. Amen. And the one on the right is known as Demas. And Demas, he told him, you will be with me in paradise. May you be when you are called, may you have a place in paradise. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The way you live, the way you relate to people. Some people, when we are wrong, we want to justify it. Some people, we want to equate ourselves to some other people. And that was rightly what the uh, uh, impenitent. Uh, 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 thief was doing, the bad thief. He was doing in a way that he, he, he would be like Jesus because uh, we are the same level. Because we have been crucified mm. together. Yes. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. I present to you the gift of God tonight. Amen. I present to you Christ. He who died uh, uh, was buried, rose again the third day. He seated at the right hand of God the Father and is making intercession for you and I. Hallelujah. And, and the intercession is bringing answers to the 
petitions of your heart. There will be a breakthrough maritally, spiritually. The Lord will touch you. The Lord will vindicate you against your accusers. The Lord will speak advancement into your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And in John 9, 19, verse 26, he saw the, the, the disciple he loved. John 19, 26. Sir, if we are there. Okay. 26. John 19, 26. Yes, sir. I'll take that one, 26. When Jesus therefore saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved mm -hmm. standing by, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, that disciple took her to his own home. Amen. Amen. He's talking of affection. He's talking of love. God is love. Jesus is love. Because he loved us. He who was, there was no sin. He who does not hold anybody. He went on the cross and shed his uh, precious blood for us. But when he saw the disciple he loved, who is John? He said, Behold, woman, that's your son. Behold, uh, uh, son, that's your mother. He was exhibiting love. May we love one another unconditionally. Easter is about love. No, uh, we've spoken about uh, uh, forgiveness, we've spoken about salvation. We are speaking in brevity. All this, we've done it in, on their separate uh, uh, titles. But love, love. Without love, no one can see God. Without uh, holiness, no one can see God. May you love. May you bring your heart to God. And may you receive God in everything that you do. Hallelujah. And in uh, uh, Mark 15, uh, verse, uh, Mark 15, verse 34. My happy is playing up. Mark 15, verse 34. 34, yeah. I read Mark 15, 34. Mm -hmm. And at the ninth hour, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, saying, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani, which is translated, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus, in his humanity, even if you read in Matthew, when he took his disciples to the garden of the Gethsemane, and he went yonder to pray, he, 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 he said, it's not my will, but the will of God be done. God has not forsaken you. He said, God in the Aramaic, why has that forsaken me? But he was not forsaken. When you are going through the pain, it doesn't matter. At one point, you will think God has forsaken you. But God, he doesn't forsake. And he will never forsake you. The price was paid. Somebody say, I have my redemption. Mm -hmm. Somebody, you are bought with the precious blood. Somebody, mm -hmm. God will not forsake you. You are mm -hmm. not forsaken. He cried and he gave up the ghost. And they say there was light thundering. The whole head shook. And the curtains of the temple torn into two. There was chaotic moment upon the surface of the earth. And they say, truly, this is the Son of God. 
truly, this is the king. They, they, they themselves got to a point. They knew they have crucified innocent blood. But the victory came. Somebody, you are redeemed. Somebody, you have the mm -hmm. victory. Say, because Christ lived, I'm more than a conqueror. Because more Christ lived, every petition of my heart, everything that agitates me, I bring it to God in prayer tonight. And I pray that the Amen. message of God and the goodness of God will be somebody's portion. Father, in the, in the name of Jesus, I present the hearers. I present uh, uh, everybody before the throne of God's grace. For Amen. I want them to realize that you have not forsaken them. Because Christ Amen. is seated at the right hand of God the Father and is making intercession for us. The hand of the Lord be upon you. Amen. The oracles of God be the portion of your of your family. Myself and DJ KB tonight we use our families as a point of contact, and Amen. we pray that the peace of God that passes all understanding will come into families. May may Amen. there be liberation. May there be Amen. setting free of people who are in situations awkward Amen. they are twined with difficulty i Amen. see the hand of god liberating you i see Amen. god touching your family the things Amen. that they say you cannot do because Amen. christ lived because christ he has paid the price you yes, are Lord. receiving you are receiving you Amen. are receiving somebody Amen. there is a touch on your life too Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. John 19 again, and the verse 28. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he is my Lord. He is our King. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. John 19, 28. 28. After this, Jesus, knowing that all things were now accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, said, I thirst. Now a vessel full of sour wine was sitting there, and they filled a sponge with sour wine, put it on hyssop, and put it to his mouth. Amen. Amen. I Amen. guess. A test is a symbol for you, the child of God. Blessed are they that anger and test for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Amen. Blessings, he, he, he tests for you. He was a, a demonstrating the difficulties that as a child of God will go through. They gave him vinegar. If somebody tells, is that what you have to give him? But uh, anger and test for righteousness. Have a right standing with God. And you will walk in the victory of God. You will receive the touch of God. And you will be liberated of every entanglement of the enemy. Tonight, no weapon of the enemy fashioned against you shall prosper. Every tongue Amen. that raised against you uh, to, tonight, being the day after the resurrection, the tongues are being shattered. The, the enemy's voice you will not hear anymore. The hand of God is directing the affairs of your life. Amen. Somebody shake yourself tonight. Amen. Somebody, he did the finished work. Yes, Somebody on the cross of Calvary, if you will remember what was done for against Jesus, what was done and the uh, ridiculing and the uh, spiting and all the things that awkward things that was said uh, uh, to him, it was because of you and it was because of me. Amen. The price has been paid. 
Mm -hmm. I will not be poor one minute again. My poverty is hanging on the cross. Amen. My shame is hanging on the cross. Amen. My need I commit unto God. Amen. Come unto him, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. And he said, I will give you rest. Learn of me, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Amen. I'm lowly in, in, in spirit. And you will have a resting place. Somebody you have toiled for too long. Somebody tonight just confess Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, and you Amen. will see the demonstration of the power of God into your life. Amen. You have wondered and you have uh, you have uh, tormented your spirit for too long. Just give your life to Him. Just look unto Jesus. Indeed, he is the altar and the finisher of your faith. Through faith and patience, you will inherit the, the promises of God. Jesus, the same yesterday, the same today, the same forevermore, he is the captain of your boat. Blind Bartimaeus, when he was passing through, he said, e -e Lord, son of David, have mercy upon me. May the Lord have mercy upon you tonight. Amen. May the Lord cause your blind eyes to open. Yes, Lord. Uh, tonight, just like the issue, uh, the woman with the issue of blood. For 12 years, she suffered hemorrhage. And she went to physicians. She paid and paid and paid, and the healing was not coming. I don't know what you have gone through. Maybe you've consulted many, many physicians. They are good. They are doing their work. But I bring you healing divine. The divinity of God will take over your humanity. Amen. The divine providence of God be your portion tonight. Amen. The hand of God be lifted upon somebody tonight. Amen. And John, John 19, 30, I love it. I love it. That word is, it, it, it settles all. John 19. John 19, verse 30. So yes. when Jesus had received the soul wine, he said, it is finished. And bowing his head, he gave up his spirit. Amen. He gave up the ghost for you. He gave up the spirit for you. And this word of it is finished is indeed it is finished. You cannot imagine the finished work of Christ on the cross. It is finished. My brother, my sister, it is finished tonight. May the Lord take away the heaviness upon your heart. May the Lord set people free on this platform. May it be extended to the whole Great Britain, to the whole United Kingdom. We pray that universally Jesus is passing this place. Jesus is a healer. May the Lord come into your abode. Amen. When Jesus was in the boat with his disciples, the Bible says he, he was sleeping. I, I, I have been uh, putting it that maybe he did that deliberately to test their faith. He was sleeping and there was a boisterous uh, wind. There was a temperate wind. And the sheep was shaking. And they saw that they were perishing. God will rescue the perishing. Amen. God will save the dying. Amen. May you be saved tonight. Amen. May every point of perishing 
May every way you think is a way of no return. May that be returned. Mm -hmm. So the one can work, uh, they woke the master up. Oh, in your prayer, wake him up. In your mm -hmm. prayer, cause all your supplications and cause all your needs to be taken to Jesus Christ. Amen. They wake him up. And when Amen. he woke up, he said, oh, you doubtless, you faithless generation. May we not be, may our faith be uh, intensified tonight. Amen. May that be a demonstration of the power of God. May that be a, a, a secret that is connected to our faith. May the victory ring bell in your heart. Amen. May you see that Christ is at work. May you give all to Jesus. Amen. Unto Jesus we surrender. Amen. Let's surrender all tonight. Oh, in David, he says, create in me a clean heart, a right spirit within me. Do not take away your Holy Spirit from me. Hallelujah. May Amen. God not take away the Holy Spirit from you. Amen. Restore unto me the joy of your salvation. Yes. Tonight, God is creating a new heart in you. Tonight, God is taking away your stony heart. Yes. And God is giving you and I a heart of flesh. Tonight, may we make amends with people. Amen. Tonight, may we know for what is man. Man is like a dust. It's like a grass. It will fade away. It will fade away. But if you put your trust in Jesus, though you die, yet shall you live again. Amen. For Jesus says, I give you peace. Yes. But peace I give you, not the one the word give. Do not be afraid. Let not your heart be troubled. Son of man, daughter of God, I see you. You are troubled. You are so troubled. You are so overwhelmed. But the hand of God is being lifted upon you tonight. Amen. The grace of God will abound in your life. Mm -hmm. Jesus sent me, God sent me to tell you to wipe away your tears. Mm -hmm. You are human. Once a while you will be down. But when yes. you are down, just like David did, he encouraged himself in the Lord. Mm -hmm. Somebody, tonight my word of admonishment to you is that encourage yourself in the Lord. Amen. Oh, once, a once upon a time, when I'm down, I, I look unto Jesus. For the psalmist says in Psalm 1, 2, 1, ah, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. Mm. From whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. I see help coming. For many are them that say that there is no help for you. Yes, but God is your shield, is the lifter up of your head. Amen. It's your strength. It's your redeemer. Amen. Dearly beloved, tonight, finally, we read a, a Luke 23, 46. Finally, Luke chapter 23, verse 46. Yes, sir. And when Jesus had cried out with a loud voice, he said, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. Having said this, he breathed his last. He breathed Amen. his last. He has breathed his last for you. Having said this, I commend my spirit. 
Our Lord commended his spirit into the hands of God. So he is the high priest of our confession. Greater is he that is in us than the one in the world. And Jesus is seated at the right hand of God the Father tonight. Therefore, come boldly before the throne of God's grace to obtain mercy, to find grace, to help in time of need. Dearly beloved, let's join our faith together tonight and pray for all humanity. We shall not succumb to the voice of the enemy. We shall not buy the lies of the enemy. The voice of the enemy will bring enmity. The voice of the enemy will tell you you don't amount to anything. The voice of the enemy will tell you nothing good will come out of you. But I came to tell you we don't serve a dead God. The God that you and I said, if the same God I said, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Israel, the God is that same God you are serving. There is nothing difficult for you. Tonight, the power of God will overshadow you. Tonight, cares for you. Somebody pray some to unfold trees. Amen. Sinie kano shana na mande, lakoni e shata di bio shini miata. Oh, we bless you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We give you all the glory. We serve the God that is seated above the wind creatures. He is mighty in battle. Our Lord and our King and our Savior, Jesus. He is worthy of our praise, is worthy of our praise tonight. Oh, we bless your name, King of glory, and our sin. Oh, 
Welcome back, um, viewers. Um, I think oh, we I have a few to minutes to um, wrap it up. So, Reverend Minister will um, just do a bit of a summary before we. I think that that, that song was um, well fitted for this topic, you know. Amen. Yes. So, Amen. Reverend Vanderpoy, carry on. Thank you. We thank God for the resurrection power. And we thank God for forgiveness, salvation, love, and affection. We are not forsaken. Yes. He, he paid the price and he said, it is finished. So, son of God, daughter of God, it is finished. The yes. price has been paid. And tonight, he has commended his spirit into the hands of the Lord. And he is seated at the right hand of God the Father. So petition to God. When you go to him and you pray, Jesus will take your prayer and present it to the Father. 
The Lord God bless you. The countenance of the Lord shine upon you. The Lord direct your steps from this moment forward. May the grace of God abound in the radio station. Amen. May the grace of God abound in uh, our our host's life Amen. and the family. And all of Amen. you, your families are blessed. Amen. As Jesus has come, you have life and have it more abundantly. The Amen. Lord bless you and keep you tonight. Amen. It's been a pleasure. It's been a wonderful time having you on this program. God bless Amen. you. And next week, we will get to you as, at the same time. DJ amen, amen, God. amen. Thank you very much, man of God. Uh, it's been a blessing having you around to bless us amen. this Easter. Uh, dear listeners and viewers, um, but Reverend Banapa, I'm not sure this week, um, the Zoom meeting, is it coming on? Yeah, it's coming on on Wednesday. Okay, Wednesday. Okay, so... Yeah. Um, dear listening viewer, Rodham Bandapur is the head of the Wailing Intercessors Network. It's a network of prayer warriors and their meeting, prayer meeting is on your screen at the moment. It takes place on Zoom and um, the time is 7 to 7.30 p.m. UK time right. every Wednesday. 7 to 7.30 UK time on Wednesdays. The Zoom meeting ID is 716 three double nine eight five zero four zero that is seven one six three double nine eight five zero four zero and the meeting passcode is two capital v capital s number eight capital p and small a that is number two capital v for victor capital s for sierra number eight capital p for papa and small a for alpha if you want to join the prayer network, please call the number on your screen, which is 07862712569. That is 07862712569. If you have any prayer requests you want um, the prayer network to help you pray about, call the same number, 07862712569. Five six nine, and we'll be glad to assist you. Thank you very much, man of God. God willing, next week, same Amen. time, we will come your way for another edition of In His Presence. Amen. My regards to your entire family. Have a blessed Amen. day. God bless you. God, God bless, bless you. you. See All you right. next week. Bye bye. See you. Bye. Right. Bye bye. A chief for that was by Reverend Jacob Van der Poy of the Wailing Intercessors Network. I believe in blessed. This program comes your way every Monday and it's going to continue. At some point, we will change the time, but we will announce ahead of time when we change the timing of this program. It is likely it will be moved to Friday, Friday evenings. We will um, move this program from Monday to Friday evenings. But as I said, when we do it, we will uh, inform you. This is DJKB. I believe you're blessed. Um, please subscribe to our social media pages, Facebook, YouTube. And just um, search for Tap Online Radio UK. Also, you can download our free mobile app from um, the Play Store or the App Store. Or download it from our website toponlinestation.com toponlinestation.com and you will be blessed uh, we will take just one message from our sponsors and we will sign up don't go away who is going to do my account and tax returns for me cra certified accountants certified accountants certified accountants they will help you with your account and tax returns are you a minicab driver, hairdresser, shop owner, or self employed? Certified accountant. And then what's our train with chapman? And then we will say, when you will be a what bring our accounts and tax returns more. Now, bans are so more. Now, who are you? It's in America for certified accountant at the Yamawo. So, F accounts and tax returns. Company accounts. Bookkeeping. Payroll services. Charity accounts. And gift aid claim. As of all, what 20. Book manager certified accountant. Self tax planning. Business advice. Company registration. And many more. And teachers were chapman. Company. What you were casa. Now, what you are a motor bro. What is the capudu? Certified accountant. 
they say about transfer from the dear what to construction workers, agency workers, relief security workers, bank nursing staff, and then one we are Juma our temporary workplaces in a month. No, you see, I put you among the other day. I say, HM, I will see for a cab. What move wow, a trim, and yes, as well. What is so cry address 160 London Road, Barking IG 11 8 BB. Telephone 0208 226 4933. Mobile 079 568 045. One seven. Ah, certified accountant. Me humba ma me huwa chame. Mudi mpunti yo abba me duma yo me. Gana fwa wa putre ha ya se dene enye emreni mfu a wo ya kwada wo emreni mo a poto kasa mo ya kasa a lawyer fwa enti mi ni ano ma mumi yamfu yi migration enti mi na enko dai wamo wise smart solicitors wise smart solicitors emreni mo kuku draw for. So what's na hache? Ombe bwa uma wansaka wankwata. Na suwe di e drone suwa. E yomu koko kwa. E bani ni pa si tine mu. E ni e jume mu nsembiya. Omu di mu wako tine pa. Omu omre di meni pebiya. Why smart solicitors? Always put our clients needs first. We specialize in all UK visa applications. Detention and deportation cases. Student and work points based work permit applications. From both UK and abroad. Why smart solicitors also dealt with immigration law. Family law, employment law, civil litigation, Ghanaian customary law, commissioner of oath, long residence, and human rights applications outside the immigration rules. Don't wait till last minute. Wise man solicitors for inquiries call 0208016538484. Mobile 07946772439. Call our 24 7 line on 07931. 411042 Address 8 to 9 Print House 18 to 22 Ashwin Street Dalston E8 3DL Overground stations are Dalston Junction or Dalston Kingsland For buses 67 76 149 242 and 243 Why smart solicitors for how bad dying now be unse I need to chinye a bit of the beer